my mother-in-law's house. She asked us to build her a hoop house over her existing garden. As you can see, the garden's still there. It was a 20 by 20 foot garden, and she wanted a hoop house covered with solar wrap. So what we've done is we've built our hoop house. I'll go around and show you a few of the, the points that we did. We, bent, we bent our hoops, we put cross braces, we put an outer border out of two by 12, and then we framed in a door. Our door is 36 inches by 80 inches. That way you can put a normal standard door in there if you wanted to. And then we put bracing here for the solar app to go across. What I did is I just took a big piece of solar app with the, the bead on both ends, cut a little strip, took our PVC profile, the S-lock, connected it, and found a height that I was happy with where it would end. So then we ran a, a brace across. As you can see here, when we ran into the pipe, we just used strapping to go around. And what we'll do is we'll duct tape across here so that these sharp points aren't touching the, the plastic. So now we're ready to apply the, the S-lock channeling for the solar wrap system. And what we've done is we basically started here, ended at the end, cut our degree in there. We're using wood screws to attach it to the wood. When we attach it to the metal, we'll be using metal screws. So just like that. Then we'll come back with the solar wraps in a little bit and just slide it right into place. So here we are placing the S-lock channel. It's made out of a very high grade PVC that's meant to last a long, long time out in the sun. Uh, very impact resistant and doesn't get brittle in the cold weather. And it holds the, S the solar wrap in place. Uh, what we're doing now is we're using tech screws, inch and five eighths tech screws to attach the S-lock to the, the metal frame. We marked the center line and that's where we started with the, the S-lock. This is a 10 foot piece, the other side will have a 10 foot piece, and then we'll do our side walls off according to the where the S-lock line ends. So where the S-lock comes together, we wanna to make it butt up as tight as possible. You want the channel to be open, but you do wanna place the silicone, your silicone cock at the joint. That way there's not water running through it. Just like that. So the time's come to put the solar up on the, the hoop house. As you can see, we ran these two by fours parallel. Um, what we were trying to make sure we did is had these overlap, the this S-lock overlap this S-lock so when the water sheds, it doesn't come underneath. That's a very important part of the puzzle. So that's why we did this first and then put this on. So what we'll do is we'll take the, the solo, solar wrap. As you can see, we put it across two saw horses. And then we're gonna feed it through. So what we're gonna do now is just pull the solar wrap through the S-lock. Uh, it's made to do this. This is how it withstands 100 mile an hour plus winds. Uh, very, very heavy snow loads. As you'll see, it's a, a pretty simple process. So put her end in, put my end in, and we'll just slide right on. And then when it gets high enough, you have someone get on a ladder. So once you pull it through all the way to the other side, it's very simple to just cut with scissors or a utility knife. I always like to cut and give it enough overhang so it comes over the top of this other piece of profile. You can see how easy it is to... And then what we'll do is we'll just take a one by two and just screw it down right here. Yep. 